We're here with the Delta Ray 2, as I've called it. Uh, the Delta Ray 2 consists of uh, Hobby King ST2204, 1550 kV motors. I've got a 30 amp ESC, I believe, over here, or 20, and then another 20 or another 30. I'm sorry, I'm not going to take them out. We're running a 2200 milliamp 3S. Um, the lights got anti crash beacon top and bottom, strobes and green, strobe and white, and then of course some landing lights that are pointed down so that when I'm landing I can see them good. Differential thrust, and then I've got pedal on setup, and uh, I can't remember exactly what all my expos are set to, but I know that one of the expos is set uh, for the rudder so that I can get uh, a little bit better on the rudder effect because there is no rudder on this plane. And that's the power you get with some brushless motors. It's windy up there. It doesn't hesitate. I'm not pushing it. I'm at 50% throttle here. It just goes. Roll authority is awesome in this thing, but it, it was even with stable. In this thing, I can actually fly it in pitch dark. Throttle's off. This thing just flies so good. And it's windy right now, so that's the cool thing about it is being able to fly in wind. As you can see, it's really getting pitched around a lot. I do not have any auto leveling or stabilization in this plane. I took out the safe and put in a Lemon RX six channel receiver. The cool thing about it, you got so much power you can bail out of just about any circumstance. And look how sharp you can turn. I mean, you can literally go like in a 10 foot cube. And then let go of the sticks and she'll basically recover with the winglets on there. Harder to land without safe, I can tell you that, but uh, especially in this windy condition. Oh, by the way, 20 minutes flight time. I have my timer set to 18 because I need differential thrust to get that uh, roll effect, or not roll effect, but the uh, rudder effect. Ooh, almost hit that light pole. That would have sucked. But I mean, that thing is moving. No throttle. Show you a little high delta. I mean, look at that thing. It does have a tendency to tip stall um, and it tips back, which is weird when you're in a high delta maneuver. Um, that's not an uncommon thing, but it does make it tricky to land when you're trying to run with no throttle. But the thing is with those huge control surfaces, with a steady wind, it's really easy. Um, today we've got gusty variable winds, and so it makes it very tricky. Oh, and I'm running a six, four, five prop, counter rotating and uh, counterclockwise and clockwise. Not 100% sure which direction I did it, but I think I made it so it matched the original setup. Shouldn't matter, but very little torque roll, obviously. Uh, the differential thrust is going to change that. You have a little bit of a torque effect when you're doing that. And yes, you can see that wind is really whipping it. When I go into the wind, you can just roll it like a maniac. I'm going to bring it down here for a low pass, right overhead. <laughs> I doubt you got that on, did you? No. <laughs> we'll try again. But the crazy part is, we're not even like a quarter of the way through the flight time. Sorry, did I scare you? <laughs> no. Okay, good. That scared me. Just kidding. But the crazy thing about this plane is that, you know, on a calm night in the complete pitch dark with the lights the way I have them set up, I can fly this thing, and um, it's very, it's very fun to fly in the pitch dark. 
but it's also a little bit challenging if you don't know the environment super good. I mean, as you can see, we got a street light here, which actually blinds me every time I go by in the dark. And this plane, it'll do a lot better when you have it on, you know, 30 to 100% throttle. You have a whole lot more control of it. So when you run in for a landing, you run your throttle back and then you high delta the plane. But you don't run it at 0% throttle because then you just, the differential thrust gets hokey because the time it takes to spool up the motors. Even though they're quick, they still take a second to get that thrust there. I'm gonna try to come in and do a landing from left to right here, hon. Um, I guess we'll just see. You just kind of got to be playing it by ear a little bit with the wind. The other thing is no flaps on this plane. On car. Is there a car? You're clear. Okay. That's the other thing is when you set up your differential thrust, you see how I can turn it really sharp? When you're moving, Put a little up elevator, you'll lift that nose wheel off because it does not turn. And that will actually help you turn. And it works really well. The other thing is you don't mix in 100% left and right. You mix in like 100 up and then like 30 or 40 back. So that way, when you change your direction of thrust, it cuts, it cuts the opposite motor less. Because you don't want to cut 100% and 100%. You want to cut like 40 and give 100% over here and vice versa. In fact, like 125%. So, and then you turn around and you take off and do it all again. And if you tape this timer, it's 11 minutes, 56 seconds right now. That's how much time we got left. I mean, it's just going to go forever.